Hi, welcome to In Focus. I'm Kevin Klein. I'm sitting here together with Michael Schmidt from Berlin. He works in our SAP Converge Cloud Group um, as an architect. Say hi, Michelle. Hey, Kevin. It's a pleasure to be here. So, Michelle, tell us, what are we doing with folding at home? Yeah, so in desperate times, we need desperate measures, and there's never been more experts coming together to focus on a single topic as of right now. And there's one thing that many people don't realize really is that um, we need computing power for that. And the Folding at Home project is like a distributed computing project mm -hmm. that uses um, that computing power for medical research. And um, they've been focusing on a few diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. And of course, recently they switched their focus to COVID-19. And they do need our help. Okay, yeah. Well, that you know, I heard on the radio that they were that, that Nvidia had come out and said, "Hey, all you gamers out there with your Playstations or whatever, if you want to donate computing power and GPU power." Yeah, but let me get back first to the gamers. As you might know, your Playstation and your gaming PCs at home they are incredibly powerful. Over the last years, the GPUs, like your video cards that you have in your PCs, they are little supercomputers and before this crisis people actually used it for their own good they made a little bit of money by using that power to buy cryptocurrency like ethereum you might have heard or narrow it was quite popular in the gaming community but now uh, with the social media outcall of nvidia the gamers are actually donating their gpu power to science and we have the Converge Cloud, which is one of SAP's in-house cloud properties. We have quite a bit of spare capacity, and we hold that back for our customers usually. But um, in this case, we can actually quite quickly reuse it for folding at home projects. And what we are actually donating is uh, CPU powers. So we have a lot of spare CPU capacity. And um, if you all count it together, we have like 55,000 little computers that we are giving to the project. What we're at is we've got a ranking here set up, and uh, uh, Oracle is at 606, Amazon is at 358, Microsoft is at 166, and Team SAP is at 161, place of giving uh, donating resources. So I think that, you know, congratulations. You guys are doing a great job on it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really awesome how much we could contribute. But Kevin, it's, it's not really a competition, right? So yeah. we're all, all in this together. And I'm happy that the other companies are spending so much as well. How, how does the data get from the researchers around the world into our computer systems and back out? So the Folding at Home project is run from Andy Lab at Stanford University. And they are collecting a series of data and they are ch uh, chopping it up into work units in small parts that you can chew up. And they're sending this out to all over the world to volunteers who want to try to uh, calculate that piece of work. And so what you actually have to do is you install a program on your computer and it fetches just a little piece of the puzzle, calculates that part, sends it back to the folding at home servers, which then take it back together and um, create a huge data set out of it. From, from what I understand, everybody can do this, right? Anybody can offer that spare capacity. Yeah, absolutely. You can install it on any kind of personal computer, both for SLP employees, please only on your spare personal computers, <laughs> not on work machines. Very good point. Um, right? like, what about security? I mean, it's important for the customers to make sure that we're at security. So what measures have we taken? We only want to give spare capacities and don't impact our productive payload or our production system in any way. So, and it's actually quite interesting because this is one of the things our cloud does really well. It distributes the load across a lot of computers that we have in our data centers. And we can measure in real time uh, the pressure we put on that system and automatically scale back the capacity we give to folding at home we take up too much. So we're really making sure that no productive payload is being impacted. And it's a fully automated system. Um, so I'm quite sure that we that we are fine here security wise. 
Well, that's good to hear. I'm sure our customers will appreciate that too. Michael, thanks a lot for all the information. Thank you to your team for all your work. I'll let you get back to work because I know you're a busy man. Thanks, Kevin. It's been my pleasure. So this is Kevin Klein saying thanks to everybody out there today. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll talk to you the next time at InFocus.